now. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because we post three videos every single week. <sighs> so we went back and forth on whether we should make a full video and address the, our last video. And I think when we posted a video, it was just, I think we were just at a high. I see you guys as family. And I think we just like, you guys, let's just hear this. If that makes sense, we're just, it was a high in the situation. Right, it was like, you're, you're, yeah, it's like, it's something where, like we said, we haven't told you about him for years. So all, all of a sudden, because it was just something that was weighing heavy upon our right. hearts. And when you whip up the camera, you're like, you start talking. But we want to be able to just come on here. Cause a lot of, I mean, we had like 2000 comments. Some of you guys were freaking out with us. Some of you guys were like, girl, don't like get over yourself. Right. So we want to like make sense of what was going on because I end up crying and then we just stop talking about it because yeah. it gives me that much anxiety about the situation. So like I kind of like shut down and was like I moved on, yes. which is something we do every day about the situation. So that was the first time we put everything together and talked about it. Right. Because Lucas and I, we just. Oh, that's weird. Oh, mm. but yeah. to try and talk about it to stress us out, if that makes sense. Yes, it is. So there was a couple of major like comments that we got. There were like a bunch of people said the same thing, mm -hmm. and one was move out, get out as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. The other one was call the police, mm -hmm. and then the third one would be um, have you talked to him? Have you talked to him? So we're gonna like address each of those. So yeah. and kind of better explain the whole situation too. It wasn't explained well. No. Um. Yes, we have talked to him. Uh, we tried to talk to him, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's, there are people who live in that house. He recently got in that house mm -hmm. about two years ago. And when I noticed the things that were weird, I, I spoke to the person living there like, Hey, you know, what is he about? You know, even mm -hmm. if we should say, Hey, it was kind of like a, like, you know, it was like a weird, like, right. there was no, he was, he was just very like mysterious about it. Right. It's kind of like you get like a nod but not a conversation. Right, and like he is like he's avoiding conversating with people. Yeah. We are not the only ones that are freaked out about him. Mm. Other people, like I said, he would go to the park and hide behind the bushes Yeah. and look at the kids in the playground. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He would walk back and forth cars looking at the kids in the playground. So I just wanna read one thing that somebody said so you guys understand. So because of this, we have a community page. People wanna communicate page and was like, who is this guy? Mm -hmm. And somebody said, hi, I don't post much, but this bothers, I'm just gonna put it here. So you guys see, pause it and read it because I'm probably not gonna screenshot and put it on. I mean, it was like 30 to 40 different people are like, oh my gosh, I noticed him too. Mm -hmm. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Right. So it's not just us thinking, He's creepy. Right. Does that make sense? Because I think some people are saying like, people would be like, oh, maybe he has like a learning disability or right. something like that. Oh, I, I mean, I don't know if he has a learning disability. Yeah. There are other people in it. I work, I'm a speech therapist. I, right. I specialize on people with learning disabilities. So if anyone could know or spot people with learning disabilities, I mean, I know that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Don't you think we would, we would try to conversate or be nice or give a helping hand or be godly with that man? Like, come on, right. you know what I'm saying? We would be. So in, in order for me to say that somebody's creepy, it has to be like to the extreme. Right, agreed. Another comment that I read a lot of was people saying like, well, maybe he's sad. Like, right. maybe you should try to reach out to him and cheer him up. He's been the same way for two years it's been though. two years, yeah. So it's not, like, it's not like he's in like a bad mood or like depressed or anything like that. He's always been just the, the same. same. I think it's just as it became more consistent, we started noticing more, and then it also became more of an invasion of personal space. Exactly. Where it's becoming closer to us, so it's like, okay, well now it's getting a little more uncomfortable. Right. Then we just kind of notice that he's always walking when we happen to be coming home. Right. Um, and he has other people there that he fixes right. cars and stuff. He's like um, middle aged, so it's not like yeah. old, like old man. Yes. Does that make sense? I think there's another people that didn't know his they age. They thought it was old man. He's yeah. probably what, like 45? He's like 40. Yeah. He's like 40 year old man. Oh, Rebecca's here. Rebecca, voice it out loud. It, how how is he coming from somebody else? Yeah, he's definitely creepy. He's creepy. I yeah? like literally like look. Come here, come closer so I can hear you. I literally oh. like look over my shoulder <laughs> when I'm coming home super early in the morning or like super late at night. I'm like making sure he's not behind me. Yeah, because Rebecca to make sure he's not behind her. Yeah. Yeah. And you said you had to get pepper spray. No, I'm going to, I'm going to, but I don't trust him. So what if he's behind me and I can spray him in the face? Now I always think like three days ago. <laughs> Your Halloween thing, yeah, mm -hmm. clicked against the wind. Yeah, and I thought it was him. I was like, Yo, what's up? <laughs> yeah, bro, I was so scared. I thought I swear to God, I thought it was him behind the corner. Like, 
<laughs> he's like the boogeyman. Yeah. He's like the boogeyman. And I hate this. I don't know. We're not laughing at that. Like at right. him, but it's like no legit. Like you, you always feel like he's like over your shoulders. Yeah. And it's like you know you. I think it's even more paranoia because you hear stories like the girl in Orlando right. and you're mm -hmm. hearing all these weird people, and you know. You you could like always think oh it cannot be him and then the people who really thought okay it, it can't get that far yeah. yet you know so and I'm like does, yo yeah. Yeah. I'd rather be safe than sorry and, exactly you know so we got three cameras because of him we got Leo for us but he was mainly supposed to be our guard dog because right. of him yeah we needed a bigger dog because he was he was getting more and more invasive do you guys remember the story? of the fingernail story so a, a girl in that house a girlfriend because there was another guy in that house the girlfriend ran out the house to me all her fingernails were ripped off her finger bloody and she was screaming help me help me he's going to kill me okay yeah. that came from that house so do i want to bring a bag of cookies to those people probably not because they are con like they don't yeah. he's back in that house they don't care like they should we say that yeah, it, oh. there's there's some like I, well yeah we don't see him so I think he's house arrest or not we yeah. don't, we really we see don't him know. rarely right but but there's definitely some kind of mental instability or there, there's something going on in that family that that this makes you feel unsafe and makes you feel uncomfortable it's not right. somebody that you want to like no that you kind of like you don't want to be friends with them no no offense we like, tried right. The lady there is really, it's, she seems really nice, yeah. but it's like now you have two people in that house, it's kind of like, I mean, I, I could say they're creepy because literally the girl came with fingernails, bruising face, bruising, yeah. like her bruises everywhere, yeah. screaming, at, and they had like 30 cop cars, they had police things, the boy, the guy ran in the woods, like, I mean, that came from the house, and he's back in the house, and so you're telling me that, oh, don't, just, he's like that, and the other one's like peeping Tom in you where, I didn't say this. One time, because we're the only ones on the lake, okay? Yeah. So, but our patio, how it is, the grill is like cuts off, so there's no view. Right. We saw him yeah. walk around in the other side of the lake. Yeah, because you can see in our windows. Because we see in our window, windows, right. looking in our patio. Right. He went on the other side of the yeah. lake, Cause, looking in. Because there's a, if you look, you see the lake behind us. There's a bank on the other side. So if you walk around the lake, you can get on the other side and see into, into, our, our into our house. Like, so if we, we always at nighttime now, every time the sun starts to go down, all the windows get closed and all and that big blind gets closed because when it's dark, when it's dark outside, you can see inside really well. Yes, you can. And we saw this man yeah. at night walk around the other side of our house, right, out of the lake and looking inside. Yeah. So, so I, yes, we didn't say this. So it is our fault that we didn't really you know, say everything so you guys understand how creepy it is. Right. When we were doing that story the other night, it was like we were just sitting down telling you guys about the situation. We weren't really well explaining the entire thing. So we didn't have like a full sit down video about it. Right. It was just kind of like in the spur of the moment, like we needed to get it off our chest. Like, cause that situation that night and like a few days before when he came out and shaving his face, that was like heavy on our minds. It was. We weren't thinking about everything the past two years. We weren't. Why didn't we call the, since he was this creepy for two years, why did he, why did he say something now? It's progressively getting worse. Right. So two years ago, it was, you know, he would walk by the bridge, back and forth, looking at us. Weird. Mm -hmm. It wasn't every day, though. He would do it, like, once every two weeks, like, twice a month. And then he just progressively done it more and more. He walked by our house once. I'm like, mm, I noticed that. That's weird. But now it's becoming every day, every time we leave. So it was like... Before it's like once it became to like one time a day. Now it's like almost every time we walk outside, he gets off his patio and walks back and forth our house yeah. until we get in the car. Right. Does that make sense? Yep. There's a lot of things, and I'm sure as honestly as we think about it more and more and more things that are gonna come to our head mm -hmm. that we kind of like pushed back and don't think about anymore. There was a time where I took the kids to the park. I was by myself mm -hmm. at the park. Okay. So he was walking. Yeah. He walked past the park saw me by myself with the kids at the park, turned into there, and sat down on the bench like this. Yeah. I was watching us on the park. Yeah. Like, what do you do with that? Like, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, what do you do with that? That was So I jumped in my car quickly and went home. It got to the point where Lucas and I, I don't know if I said this in the last video because it's it's really difficult to rewatch that. Yeah. Lucas and I had to 
switch cars like crazy just so he didn't know I was home by myself. Yeah. But now you're home with me, so. Right. That's like a better situation. Do you think he watches your YouTube videos? I don't. I, no. I highly doubt it. I don't it. think so. I highly doubt it. I really don't think so. And if, yeah. I mean, if he does at this point, I mean, I got to the point where I'm like, dude, like what? Yeah. Like I have to look at him and say, what? Right. Like, what are you, what are you staring at? Yeah. You know? Like I tried the intim like, I tried like, you know? And oh, yeah. the other day, he was doing it again. Like we came outside yeah, washing the car. He was shaving his face again outside. He came outside shaving his face looking at us. And Benji was coming out. And, um, Benji was like off a leash and there was another dog so I was yeah. like, Benji, come! And the man was like, and he like backed up and he came back. Yeah. And started shaving again. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> yeah, it was strange. It was I don't know strange. if you thought you were talking to him or like, yeah, yeah he like kind of backed away. He was, like backed up like. Yeah. And we wanted a net to see what exactly did he like backed up when, In the into the screen, screen room. And then came back outside. Yeah. And looked at us and shaved again. Weird. I don't mind if you think I'm a Karen about the situation. Because some right. people are like, you're such a Karen. Right. Um, which is fine. You, I don't mind if you think I'm over dramatic because at the end of the day, you are your own person. So if you in a situation, and we didn't even explain it all, mm -hmm. wouldn't be as dramatic as we are, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, yeah. we, are, we have kids. And it's, I mean, he literally, he acts like, I don't know. It's like he's like, like uh, stalk, not stalking, but like seeking like ass out and it's getting more and more to like he's like he's planning something right it's like hard to explain it's almost like he has like an ulterior motive in his head yeah and you can see that so he's like he almost like it's like trying to be comfortable with you like you know i'm always there so you're kind of comfortable with me being there right but like low-key so it's like i'm always in the background and you notice i don't know oh like he has like a thirst like it's like he can't yeah. help himself like maybe he, that's what it I is i think that's what it is like it feels like he can't help but look at kids that makes right. sense. I hate okay. to say that, but it's like, I need to like fill my thirst. Yeah, because honestly, all right. So, so you, it, like from our neighborhood, he could walk out of his house and go the other way. It's, there's miles he can walk the other way mm -hmm. if he really just loves to walk, but he chooses to walk towards the park. And he walks let me by show you. the park. Legit, I took a picture the yeah. other day. He legit, let me show you. Cause I feel like some people are like, are not like, they're like. Not believing. Not believing yeah. us. Let me see. I know a lot of people did. But look, at the park. This is literally the other day. That's him. He goes back and forth in yeah. the parking lot behind the cars Pretending at the park. Pretending to off the ground. Yeah. So some people were saying like maybe he's on drugs. That's a possibility. He is, I guess what drug, what do you want to do with that? Like, right. I, I, like oh, okay, you're okay with staring at me all right. day, going behind the lake at night, looking in my house. Right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to say. Yeah, action steps we're gonna be taking. We are gonna talk to a police officer, one of our friends, mm -hmm. and just see what kind of steps that we can take and, and you know, to protect ourselves right. and what, what can be done. We try and look at a house. We're gonna go on a couple tours soon to see mm -hmm. how they are, but this, this market is just so dry. It's so yeah. bad that it's, it's just so stressful and I'm like, I don't know. We're gonna try again with the fence. Yes, so building a fence, so that's another, another action step we're gonna be taking is building a fence around our house. So we have to get approval from the HOA first and then right. get it built. Um, we'll talk to the HOA about the situation and how we feel. Right, um, protecting ourselves. So I'm gonna make sure that Rachel has mace and pepper spray and her mace and uh, taser in her purse. Mm -hmm. And we also have the GUN in our house. So that's protection in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, our know. doors, our doors are always locked, which is yeah. good. Um, the one thing that creeps me out is when I come in the garage. So I guess like with the kids. Mm -hmm. So like I started with, if I'm going with like Lillian or something, what I do is when I park in and Lucas at home with Josiah, I call him to come outside with us, right. to meet us. Yeah. Which some people thought I left Lillian in the car. Yeah, I was in no. the car. Yeah, Rachel was in the car in the front seat while I was unbuckling Lillian in yeah. the back. So she's definitely not in the car by herself. Yeah. Never no, be, never. even without this situation. Yeah, even in the morning, like so let's say um, like we're getting Lillian ready for school and, and Josiah, and I forget something inside, I will not go inside and no. get that. I, no. will, I will yell to Rachel like, hey, can you bring me this? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we we'll, never do that. Not for a second. People said, why didn't you talk to cops? Like, Guys, the cops are not gonna do anything. He didn't do anything, we said that. Right. He's not gonna do anything. And if I see somebody pluck their fingernails and they press it still home, yeah. there is nothing. I mean, there's nothing. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, uh, house arrest for that. Right, and even, even if you look at the cabbie situation, like, the cops were called. Mm -hmm. And boom, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like it has to be extreme situation for me, me and Luca to tell you guys. Like, for instance, you're signing the ER with that nurse. He's been to the ER other times. Right. You know, Lily's been to the doctor, but we never really like tell you guys everything like that. But when it's like so stressful that we need like other ears and other opinions, mm -hmm. that's when we came on here. 
But it, it, the situation is, it's just, I don't want to put this burden on you guys. I don't want to do that. So I don't know if like, unless the situation is clear, I don't think we're going to probably talk about it again because this is very, very stressful. Mm -hmm. And I really don't want to stress you guys out as much as we are stressed, yeah. which we've been stressed for the last two years. It was not fair for us to put that on you guys. Yeah. Cause it's just it's just disturbing, and I know some of you guys are like, "Oh, Christian, do the Christian thing and talk to." Like, listen, guys, like, yeah, we we have. Like, mm -hmm. think about who we who we are. We're very kind people. We just we'll take the shorts off our back and give it yeah. to them. Like, we're, and even though we're introverted, we we have no problem with teeny sugar, teeny help, teeny this, teeny that. And we're not the only ones. Our other side neighbor, funny enough, mm -hmm. when I first noticed, she was like, "Girl, what are you talking about?" There is nothing wrong. The girl moved. There's nothing wrong with him. Mm -hmm. And now she is like, you are so right. He's yep. creepy. Like, yeah. I have to be careful with my son around him because he just creeps me out. And I'm like, I told you. And they're always at the park. So they're she always at the knows. park. Yeah. Um, so the other neighbor that we say we talk to, the lady that lives there, we're very friendly and cordial. Like, we always talk to her yeah, when we're her. outside. Like, oh, if you, get, if you need tools, we got tools mm -hmm. and this and that. So it's not like we're, we don't, like, excommunicate them. We still are friendly with the, the family. And she's very nice. I mean, she planted a, a, a bush in our backyard. In our backyard. <laughs> so, like, sometimes more our, like, more our side yard, which I don't know why. why? But, like, or, like, we will help her out with something. So, like, right. we talk a lot with, with her, the yeah. person who lives there. And then I asked her about him, and she's like, yeah, he's, I forgot what she said. I'm so she, mad. I know she said, like, she, he, he, likes to, he likes to walk. Yeah, at first she's like, he likes to he walk. He likes to walk a lot. Yeah. But, but like, like, she explained him to me, and you weren't there. No, I wasn't. So, I couldn't remember exactly, like, a, what about him, you yeah. know? But like she's still with her husband too. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. It's her and her husband and then somebody else. Like there's other people in the house, but yeah. But I think we need to. I where he came from? I think we're gonna have to like re bring it up and just kind of bring up our concerns to her, so that mm -hmm. maybe she can. Because if she's with him, she could probably talk to him like, hey, you know, they're, they're you know feeling uncomfortable because you're doing all these things, and, and maybe that'd be another way we can go about it. Right. We're definitely gonna be attacking this thing from um, as many angles as we can. Right. Prayer, heavy prayer. We right. are definitely gonna just whatever happens with the situation with the house with just doing everything we can here now uh, We're just gonna give it to God and trust trust that yeah. like we're gonna be in the right place that he wants us Leaving quickly is it feasible like I, I right. mean we looked at every angle. I was up Yeah all night every single night um, Which you see we didn't post because it, we've been so stressed about stressed out about the situation, yeah. and like I can't focus on like Instagram, nothing. Like there, we couldn't barely post in any area or do anything because I was so we've been so stressed out about this, mm -hmm. trying to fight to find a place. So we're like we're thinking God is trying to tell us to be still. Um, mm -hmm. and we're just helping, like just really praying that He gives us the guidance. Why oh, the camera just cut off? Mm -hmm. We're trying to pray that He gives us the guidance in the situation. Just trying to be calm. Mm -hmm. Be still and hear his voice because yes. it's and, been and be smart and be smart yeah because especially with the Gabby situation like we can't be dumb like about this and a lot of, I mean 2,000 comments so that tells you like how many people I mean there was a lot of different opinions out there but a lot of you guys was hearing us and agreed with us yeah. and we just did say that we need to be smart about it yeah. um, my my best friends her social worker was like Yo, this situation, like, you need to, let me read what she said real quick. Oh, While you pull that up. Um, yeah. So, so as someone else said, like, like, Lucas, you need to, like, man up and, like, go, like, confront him. So, I'm definitely not going to be an, any aggressive in this situation. Like, talking and, and cordially and things like that is fine with me. But, but I'm ready if, like, if he does step inside or out, like, cross any boundaries and that we're always there, then, then it will be taken care of that way. But... But I'm not gonna like go out of my way to be like aggressive towards him to like try to scare him back or anything like that. Right, but let's believe the minute he steps on our property right. line, right, he's gonna handle. I mean, you know, right. what I'm saying. But I don't think they knew about the fingernails. Yeah, I don't think so either. So there's no you going into right. You know, okay. She said just saw their video on on YouTube. Send Rachel and Lucas my love, please. Tell them I recommend packing their stuff and running before this escalates. It's something that is irreversible as they have young children. Also, if they do not have an alarm, get one. The cameras don't don't notify the police. Uh, my heart goes out to them. Not to scare them, my professional opinion is that whatever urge he needs to satisfy, he will eventually build up the impassivity to do whatever is going on in his sick brain. Impulsive behavior trumps rational thoughts and rational behaviors. Textbook case of something bad is waiting to happen here. Dude has no boundaries. 
Right. So, so that's what it feels. Sorry. Yeah. So that's what it feels like. He's like slowly, like he has like his urge to like, but it's like slowly building. It right. just that's what it literally feels like. So it's getting more and more impersonal. Right. I mean, more and more in our personal space. Yeah. Honestly, whether it happens to us or like someone else's kid in the community, like you know what I'm saying? Like either mm -hmm. either way, it does seem like something bad is happening, and it's so going like, to happen. Yeah, and so I just I don't. I don't know. Like I said, we're gonna talk to the police. So. We're gonna do what we have to do, yeah. but we're, not, we're gonna do it behind the scenes. Like we're right, not talking sure. about this again. I know this is so stressful, and you know, yeah. I've, I've really, really, truly felt bad for posting it out there for you guys to yeah. also be as stressed out. We, you know, what we should have done, we should have had the solution, right, and then talk to you guys about it, so you guys could have like a happier ending. Yeah, like an after the fact. Right. Yeah. So I think like moving forward from here. Any any like vlogs you see from us because we, like we said we are gonna be looking for a house if we if we vlog things like that I don't want it to be like a like a sad or scary thing right. it's gonna be like a, like we're gonna try to keep it like lighthearted right. just like us like we're normally are we're very lighthearted and happy and, right and so like that's how it's gonna have to be from here on out it's just like oh my god yay we're looking for a new house not like oh my new, new you know we're not looking for oh it's just creepy like Does that it's make just sense? wanna yeah. we just wanna keep it as positive as possible. Uh, in this situation, yes. so let's say in a new video, just say, yeah, this is cool, I like this, like, don't, right. I don't know. Like, if you want to DM me, because a lot of people DM me on Instagram, mm -hmm. I, if you want to know updates, you could DM me on Instagram, and I could be able to tell you more. Like, there's a couple of you guys who did, and I've sent you, like, I've showed you things and sent you things, so like, I could get more personal with you guys, but I, I'm not going to do that when it comes to, like, this YouTube, because it's kind yeah. of a lot, yeah. you know? So if you are really, really, really invested, and want to know like what's been going on mm -hmm. and don't mind being like caring to serving things and stuff like that go to our, our instagram rachel and lucas and dm me saying yo i, I want to know more of a situation what's the update yeah. today what's the update this week and i have no problem updating you if you want to do that um i've been updating a couple other people so yeah Go on DM, DM me on Instagram, but I, literally like i'm not i'm not gonna do this to you guys i'm yeah. not because yeah. this is really stressful yeah so like I said, from here on out, back to like normal schedule. Normal and, schedule. and if you're watching and you see the other one, it like you know you know why. So it's kind of like you don't we don't have to talk about it again. Like, right. you, know, you know why. After our solution, right. then we'll give you guys the timeline. Let's right. do that. After the solution, we'll give you guys up. Yeah. After everything's said and done, we'll be like, here's here's what happened. What happened. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Back love to normal, happy programming. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.